To God be the glory. You all are the blessedness of the Father. And I bless the Lord uh, for each and every one of you. And I thank God for your manifestation. I am here today just to expressly thank majority of you who have been um, watching, sharing, liking. Um, may the Lord continue to honor you in the dimension of your walk with him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I was just before the presence of the Lord and um, amazingly, you know, I, I believe yesterday uh, we were basically sharing a prayer and um, in the prayer, I kept hearing the word gates, basically gates consistently. And in the moment of that, I kept hearing the word access granted access granted i kept hearing that word consistently and i want to help us to understand something that majority of us don't truly or are not truly aware of i've been helping us in encouragement to understand that a lot of us we can move from one state to the other one city to the other one country to the other and you have to understand that sometimes a lot of people they make these decisions not on the basis of the word of God but on exactly what they see or people tell them and for that reason can you see that dimension when they get there they are now doing everything they can to succeed do you see that for sometimes let me, let's put it let's put it in this dimension right there are some people, they left the country in which they're at, yes, and they moved to a new country. Now, it was not on the word of the Lord, but it was something that they decided. Because I remember there was a time in, you know, I was uh, I was with a, uh, there was somebody I knew uh, way back. And I want to share this as a testimony for us to understand what I'm actually talking about. And with this person, what happened was, when they eventually got to the UK, yeah, when they came to this country, what happened was, you know, the gate of the nation was not open to them. No, not at all. So what did they do in reality? So it was a place where they had to falsify their date of birth. They basically made it a lot lower than what it was so that they can basically get access and get granted on the application. So you can see that falsehood that manifested in that regard. Yes, not only that, even when they had to what? When they had to write a test for the what's it called the 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 to, to get the passport can you see now what did they do they went ahead and what they you know they got somebody else to to write it and then eventually they got granted so you can see in that dimension how people falsify why because the gate of that city was not open to them and when the gate of a city a gate of a nation or a gate of a country is not open to you you begin to look for other ways to compromise in order to get what you want can you see that dimension that is why it's always imperative to ask the Lord that is why it's always imperative to walk with the Lord to inquire of him if it's okay or not not going by the counsels of people not going by what we see on Facebook Twitter and all of those places not going by what we believe our life would be when we get there no but on the premise of the Word of God the Bible says yes in the book of Genesis Isaac stay in this land and when you stay in this land what will happen the f there was a place where the father says you will flourish in the same land there was famine can you see that Abraham leave your father's house to a land I will show you and what happened Abraham obeyed God and eventually what happened when Lot left the Lord says now open your eyes you see all of this land it belongs to you so majority of us it's a place where the Father has been consistently encouraging. That is why I believe I shared a word in times past that some of us are in a place where the gate of the city is not open until we return to where we are, yes, or where we came from, yes, and then inquire of the Lord to align us where we need to be. Because for some people, where they left is where they're supposed to prosper, but they left the land. That is what Jacob did. He left the land where he was supposed to prosper and then went into the land of Egypt and then eventually became a slave do you see that in itself so this is why I've been encouraging and helping us to understand that we have to inquire of the Lord this is why majority of the time a lot of people are struggling yes you know they're not able to get through then they have get married they have children even the children are not able to succeed why because the father went or the mother moved into a wrong location
But we thank God. This is why we basically look at the book of Psalm 24. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, and the world and all who live in it. Can you begin to see? Now he goes on to say, yes, in verse 3, who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place, the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. Do you see the dimension of that verse? So he's helping us to understand that you need to examine yourself. Are you in the right place? Those who has clean hands, yes, and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol. Idolatry can be you moving from a country to another without the Lord's permission, thinking the land will open up for you yes because you're trusting in yourself you're trusting in what you believe in and that can be an idol luxury because you've made that country where you believe you will prosper into an idol do you see that in itself so this is the reason why they have not received blessings verse 5 of psalm 24 they have not received blessings vindication cannot come because why you did not seek him right from the very beginning so this is why we begin to see, yes, why the Father is basically helping us to understand that for the first dimension of people that I'm speaking to in this hour, you need to examine yourself as you were the Lord instructed you to be, right? Okay, I thank God for that. We basically understood that dimension in Jesus' mighty name. Now, I want to move into the next dimension of those who are basically, it was the Lord who and told you to leave where you were, you moved into the city or the town or the country where you are at at this point in time yes and when you moved into it do you know the amazing thing that happened the city has not opened up for you the nation has not opened up for you so it could be the fact that for some of you yes you've moved into a whole country Maybe you're trying to make application, but the application has not been successful. Yes, but it was the Lord who told you to move there. Yes, so now you can begin to understand. Yes, you moved into the city, you've set up the business, but there is nothing coming out of that. You've started ministry, you've started doing all that you need to do, but yet there is nothing happening in that regard. Now you wonder, Father, am I doing something wrong? The truth about it is, you have not done anything wrong. This is for the first dimension of people. No you have not done anything wrong the bible says in verse 7 of psalm 24 lift up your heads you gates be lifted up you ancient doors you have to understand that you can be in the right place but the gates to that city the gates to that nation the gates to that town the gates to wherever you are has not yet opened up to you this is the reason why perhaps you're in ministry you're not getting many followers or you're not getting people who are in your ministry perhaps it could be the fact that you've started you've you've started your business but there are no customers there are no people you know patronizing what it is that you're doing that's because the gate has not been open to you it could be the fact that what you are ready to get married you've been positioned where you need to be but the gates yes to where you need to get married or to, to the person you need to get to marry to has not yet been open this is the reason why things have not moved forward in that regard can I give you a dimension in the Bible? Yes, there was a man. His name is Peter. I'm sure we've read about him, whom, yes, Herod basically captured and was going to kill him. So the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 12, it says the angel of the Lord, yes, while the church was praying for him, the angel of the Lord came to him and said, put on your sandals. And Peter did so. He wrapped up his clothes around him, the angel told him, and Peter followed him out of prison, but he had no idea what the angel was really doing or what was happening, yes, because he thought he was seeing a vision. The Bible says he passed the first guards and the second guards. Then eventually he came into the gate, to the iron gates leading to the city. So majority of you the reason why i said you passed the first guard and the second guard is because you set up the business you've set up the ministry you've set up the whatever the father has instructed you to set up for some of you you've met the kingdom spouse they might not be exactly where you are yes maybe it's a place where you have to relocate to find to be with them you've passed the first you've passed the second guard and it says they came to the iron gate leading to the city so this is why i said majority of you you have been positioned yes you have done everything now I want us to be attentive to this clearly because there are some people that the father has been giving you instructions but you are yet to follow the instructions that's why the gate is not yet open 
Do you see that? Because it is the instructions that will open the gate. What has the Father instructed you to do? But you have not done it. And because you have not done it, the gates cannot what? Be presented to you. So for that reason is why majority of the people are going around in cycles. Can you see? The Bible says that what? In the book of Deuteronomy. It says you have been around this mountain long enough. Yes, it's time to head north. That means you have been in this cycle long enough. So a lot of people can be doing ministry. They can be doing business they can be doing all of those things yes but it might look like hey once in a while this happens that happens once in a while people bless you or that in itself you're tasting and seeing but you cannot walk in the fullness because the gates of the city has not been opened because you're yet to do what God has told you to do that's why I said Psalm 24 it says that what those with clean hands and a pure heart now I'm speaking to those who have been obedient you have done all that the father has asked you to do you are positioned the bible says in the book of daniel chapter 10 daniel had been praying for 21 days then the angel of the lord came and what did the angel say to daniel he said from the first day you set your heart to pray yes your prayers were heard so your words were heard so the father is telling those who have been positioned you have been positioned because you have written the book you have been positioned because you've opened the ministry you have been positioned because you've written the plan of the business and you've began it you've been positioned because you've met your kingdom spouse and yet yes you're in a place where you're waiting for the what for the iron gate leading to the city to be open now while i was praying concerning this that was when i heard the word access granted and the reason why i said access granted is because for majority of each and every one of you there are two dimensions of help that is going to be raised in this hour there is a heavenly help and then there is what the help of man the bible declares where does my help come from psalm 121 it comes from you the maker of the heavens and the earth so we can see that it was God himself who basically, by the help of Moses, yes, in obedience, led the people of Israel out of Egypt. But the Bible tells us in the book of Exodus, I believe, chapter 12, that God was the one who was watching them all night. Do you see? That even when they were crossing the Red Sea, the angel of the Lord was the one fighting for them. So you can see also in Acts chapter 12 that the gates to the city needed to open. Yes, because in Acts, in the book of Exodus, God said, yes, I will force the hand of Pharaoh and he will have to let you go. So every time the gates to the city needs to be open, this is God himself that is what is manifesting. He has come down that he might open that gate for you. So every time a gate needs to be opened in the Bible, it's God himself who comes down to open open that gate. Now you can see it. The Bible says suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter. Then you can see in verse 10, they passed the first, the second gate and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself and they went through it. So you can see that in the book of Exodus, it opened because God opened it. Do you see that dimension? Yes. In the book of Acts, it was God who opened it yet again so you can see that even when adam and eve sinned and they were sent out of the garden the bible says it was an angel of the lord that stood at the gate so it's always the father who stands at the gate to open it for you this is why i've been encouraging a lot of you be obedient to what god is telling you because when you're obedient then he opens the gate because a lot of people might be waiting oh i know the ambassador I know, I know the prophet, I know the apostle, I know the leader, I know, I know the governor of the state, I know all of those people. You can know all of those people, but until God himself does it, it cannot be done. Can you see that dimension? Amen. So for majority of you, this is where the Father is helping you to understand that the gate has been opened. Access has been granted. Now, in the book of Psalm 24, the Bible says, lift up your head, O ye gates. Men can be gates yes men can be gates and it says be lifted up you ancient doors so you have to understand that when the gate of the city is open when the gate of marriage is open when the gate of business is open you begin to go through the right doors yes because after the gate comes the door yeah so after you enter into the city and you meet the person that will lead you can i give you an example jesus john the baptist was a gate for jesus to walk through because the bible says when jesus came out 
right? He said he went straight to John the Baptist. And John the Baptist was the one who affirmed this is the one I was talking about. Do you see that? And after John basically confirmed him, yes, the Bible says he came out of the water and God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So it was John the Baptist and the Father together that opened the way for Jesus to walk through. So if Jesus needed a gate to enter in, how much you? <laughs> Do you see that dimension? If Jesus needed a gate to walk through, how much more you? Because Jesus had to go through John the Baptist and John the Baptist announced him. Jesus had to go through John the Baptist and John the Baptist announced him. Can you see? And the Father affirmed it. So now you begin to see, this is why the Father says, lift up your head, O ye gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors. Because as soon as the gate is open, as soon as the gate, as soon as you meet the right person to lead you through that job, do you know what happens? Yeah, you begin to meet the CEO, you begin to meet the supervisor, you begin to meet, can you see the doors that is happening? Can I give you a, a, a prefix of what happened in Acts chapter 12? The Bible says in verse 10, it says that what? It says they passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, street suddenly the angel of the Lord left him. Then Peter knew now I know that without a doubt, the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were hoping would happen. Now look at what happened in verse 13. It says, and Peter knocked at the outer entrance. So can you see that? So after Peter was rescued, going through the iron gates, the next thing was knocking on the door. <laughs> Do you see that in itself? He came out of the iron gates and the first thing that happened was a door. So now you can begin to understand in the same dimension of Psalm 27, which is accurately basically mentioned. It says, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you ancient doors. So the Father releases somebody to lift you and then to knock on the right doors. Then you will know because it says that the King of glory. This is where glory begins to manifest because you can see with Jesus after John and the Father in the wilderness, the Bible says in Luke chapter 4 verse 14, and his fame went about everywhere. Do you see the glory of God? Yes. <laughs> after he entered through that gate, the Bible says his fame went through everywhere can you see now the ministry has been open because he read the scripture and now it all began so for majority of you this is where the father is helping you to understand he says who is the king of glory he says the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads Oh, ye gates. Do you see that? Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he? The King of glory. This King of glory. It says the Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. So when you come into the realm of the Almighty, and when you come into the realm of the sovereignty, that means this is where you begin to understand. It is God by himself who is doing everything. Yes. Do you know the names of God? They are realms. They are realms. So every time you begin to hear people use the word almighty, almighty consistently, you have come into the realm where God is basically doing things by himself. The angel of the Lord opened the iron gates. Do you see Moses in the wilderness? It was God by himself. So every time you come to the realm of the Almighty, this is God by himself. When you come into the realm of the sovereignty of God, this is where you understand, where you begin to hear the sovereign God, the sovereign God. This is God himself bypassing processes. Yes, in order to get you to where you need to get to. That is where you can hear testimonies like, I didn't apply for the job, but all of a sudden I got a phone call to come and start. He bypassed the process. That's the sovereignty of God. The Almighty is the Father Himself opening everything that needs to be opened. This is why you can read from verse 7 to 10. It says that what? That the King of glory may come in. Do you see why He said it twice in 7 and 9 of Psalm 24? Lift up your head, you gates, and be lifted up ancient doors. Verse 9. Lift up your head, you gates, and be lifted up you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. So this is the hour for majority of you, that the glory of the Lord is released 
releasing you into what God has called you to do. The doors, the gates, the gates, the doors, because he's opening the gates. The people in this hour have been raised for your sake. Yes, for some of you, I have released John the Baptist to announce you. For majority of you, an announcement has arrived because it has left heaven to be manifested in creation. And they're announcing your business. They're announcing your ministry. They're announcing your CV. They're announcing your marriage because the time has come. Because Jesus, when he was born, it was the angels that went and announced him in the wilderness to the shepherds and said, a savior has been born. Can you see? The angel announced and they ran all the way. Do you see that? They ran all the way to where he was and they began to worship him. So for majority of you, the angels have been assigned to you. Yes, because they're opening the gates for some of you. You are opening the gates. They are opening the gates for your relocation, the gates for your marriage, the gates for your job, the gates for your business, the gates for your ministry. It has been open on what? On this very moment, in this very hour, at this very time. It has been open unto you. Now you're walking in it because the king of glory has come in. For some of you, it is the angels. For some of you, I have released people in this hour to bring you to the place. That is why you can read in the book of Exodus chapter 23. It says, behold, I have sent an angel ahead of you. And what has the angel gone to do? It says to bring you to the place so you can begin to understand for some of you that you have basically started up the business i have brought the, the angel has been released yes i have sent the angel to you yes to begin to bring you into what the dimension of the city through the gate that you might meet the right person the right investor the right business partner the right people to basically help you with your business i have opened the gate for you that you might come in yes for your ministry that the person who is to announce you in the realm of john the baptist has located you and announced you to bring you to the place that I have prepared for you. This is the hour that the access, the access, the access has been granted. The gates to the city has been opened because the Bible declares according to the book of Acts and chapter 10, and chapter 12 and verse what? And verse 10. This is the past, the first and the second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself. For majority of you, you're waiting for documentations. Yes, it has opened by itself because be expectant letters are being sent to you in this hour letters are being sent all of a sudden they dropped it in your letter box all of a sudden they dropped it in your post box all of a sudden it arrived at your doorstep all of a sudden the person the contractor manifested and said hey I am here to help you can you see the gate open by itself because this gate is gonna begin to open the right doors because the gate will lead you to the right doors Peter was let out of the gate leading to the city. He was led into the city and he went knocking on the door and the door was open. Rhoda was the one who opened the door. Can you see? There is somebody who is waiting to open the door for you. You only need to get through the gate and you have entered into the gate at this point in time. This is your new beginning. This is a new era. For everything that you have waited for up until this point, this is the outpouring that you have the blessing in which you have been waiting for. No longer shall you be delayed. Blessings after blessings. One thing happening fast on the heels of the other because this is what the Lord has prepared for you right from the very beginning. The hour has come. Amen. The hour has come. This is the beauty of the holiness of the presence of God concerning you. You see it? So this is why I always encourage a lot of you by the mercies of the living God to what? To just be obedient. Because until that, the gate, because it's the Father Himself. Because some people, they can get to a city. So even if you are living, if you are the citizen of the same country, just because you're a citizen does not mean it just opens to you. <laughs> Do you see that? Just because you're a citizen does not mean it opens to you. It has to, because you have to understand, Daniel, the Bible says, Jesus was a Jew, right? But he still needed to enter through John the Baptist. He's a citizen. <laughs> so you can see that, of heaven, that is, but he came through you know nazareth can you see that dimension but he still needed a gate so you can understand daniel was praying because he says the prince of persia was resisting angel gabriel for 21 days and on the 24th day the angel came can you see because the gates it was positioned but the gates who was hindering the gate it was the prince of persia 
Amen. So for majority of you, access has been granted to you. So for the access that has been granted on this very day, expect you know, unexpected blessings that are headed your way because the hour has come. The time is set. It's time for you to advance into what God has called you to do. I love you all so very much. You all are the blessedness of the Father and I thank God for your manifestation and I pray this be a blessing to you and I encourage majority of you because like I said, because it's the Father himself who is standing at the gate. As long as, as we continue to obey him, you will see the gate open for you and for majority of you, congratulations because from this moment, expect good news because the gate leading to the city has been opened by itself in Christ Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory. Stay blessed in Jesus mighty name. And before I leave, I just want to give this scripture. Yes, because I'm just encouraged to do so. And I want to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 9 and verse 1. And this is what I'm encouraged uh, to share and just leave as a uh, 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 as an encouragement for each and every one of you to understand what the Father is intending to do. And he says, here Israel, you are now about to cross the Jordan. You have now crossed into the city. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. It says, here Israel, I want you to put your name where Israel is mentioned. You are now about to cross the Jordan to go in and dispossess nations. So you're going in to dispossess. You're going in to possess everything and to dispossess and to possess. Do you see? Because you have been what? You have been anointed and appointed. It says you are going in and then dispossess nations greater and stronger than you with large cities that have walls up to the the sky. Can you see that? But it says in verse 3, but be assured today that the Lord your God is the one who goes across ahead of you like a devouring fire. Can you see that dimension? It says that what? He will destroy them, he will subdue them before you and you will drive them out and annihilate them quickly as the Lord has promised. Can you see that in itself in the mighty name of Jesus? You are, you are already you're already winning in victory. You're already victory in Jesus' mighty name. The gate is open. The land belongs to you. It's now time to take possession of what rightfully belongs to you in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen.